Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video I would like to dedicate to YSL makeup. Um, we are going to be talking about things that are new, limited edition, and not so new. So if you're a big fan of YSL, then keep on watching. Before I'm going to proceed with the video, I would like to urge you to subscribe to my channel, to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out the future uploads. Join me on my Instagram, I would love to have you. Now going back to the makeup, uh, first thing in line, it is this Fusion Ink Cushion Foundation. It is limited edition, it is exclusive only to Selfridges. It only came with two shades, it is retailing for $48 plus tax. This is what the packaging looks like, which is absolutely glorious. I love, love, love beautiful packaging. So when you open this up, um, excuse the state of this uh, applicator. It's just a typical um, cushion foundation. You do get a mirror. It feels kind of light. It is 14 grams, which is standard or 0 0.51 ounces of product. Once again, I have it in a shade 10. So this is nothing new and I know that the uh, YSL are just about to release a brand new uh, cushion. I will be purchasing that one as well and we're going to be um, creating a comparison at some point. That's where I thought I'll get myself a new cushion foundation and YSL. It's always a good idea. I do love this brand. Next thing we're going to be talking about this uh, brand new release. This is new. It is their brand new mascara. I have it in the shade black. One of the promises is that it will give you the extreme volume. The new brush delivers immediate volume combined with a saturated carbon black formula for an ultra black false lash effect. And that is that. And I also did invest in one of their lipsticks. I love YSL lipsticks. I have tons here, and uh, but I wanted to buy a pink color. So this one is number 22, Rose Celebration. And this is what it looks like. Excuse the fingerprints. And this is the actual lipstick. So now that the demonstrational part is out of the way, let's just begin applying the makeup. So here I am ready for my makeup application. I am going to begin with my YSL Cushion. It is absolutely stunning, beautiful sequin top. When you open this up, it looks like this. Um, you get a mirror, you get the actual applicator, and this is the Cushion. So these are the things you're getting. And let's just pop it open. Okay, juicy. Once again, I have it in the shade 10 and I want to be wise and therefore I'm going to begin by just using whatever is on my lid. Call me stingy. But that's what it is. We're not going to waste a drop of this foundation. So I'm going to use this applicator going in and let's just apply. This is the uh, shade 10. Perhaps it's a bit light. I think it is too light. And this is the end result of me applying my Cushion Foundation. When I first uh, started applying it, I was a little bit concerned that it is too pale and I will look like a Queen uh, Elizabeth. But that's not the case. It kind of like uh, got a little bit oxidized, if you like, and I think it matches me perfectly so i'm happy with the shade because i believe there's always something could be done if you pick lighter shade rather than if you go for the darker especially within a cushion that is going to be a bit trickier to fix so um, i'm happy with that i am gonna let it sit on my face for a hot minute and in the meantime i'm gonna do something about my eye makeup and then we of course are going to be testing this um brand new mascara also from ysl so i'm just gonna scour away for a moment and get back to you uh, so we can apply the rest of the makeup and my mascara. Due to the fact that I'm going to be trying a brand new mascara, I wanted to create a bit more dramatic look on my um, eyes, so I did end up with this. Um, now I would like to test drive the um, how dry is this foundation. It 
has been over, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. So let's just put it on, release. Um, the tissue is absolutely dry, so I think I'm ready for um, applying my makeup to see whether things are going to be moving about, but it doesn't look like anything is going to change. However, we'll so see. I'm going to use uh, as a contour stick this one from Smashbox. This is not a luxury product, but um, it works for me. I love using it now and again, so therefore I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to try to blend it with my dry sponge to see where the things are moving about. So far so good. Okay, so this is the contouring done. I have to say that uh, things have been very easy breezy with my cream contour. So cream products normally uh, tend to eat into the integrity of whatever the foundation that you have. Um, not always, but sometimes. And uh, this uh, contour stick did not affect this uh, cushion foundation, at least on my face. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little bit of a Guerlain um, a highlighter slash powder, bronzer, you name it, it is all in one. So I'm just gonna get a little bit and apply. Um, yeah, so far so good, no changes there. I'm using a dry powdery brush on my face also did not ruin my Makeup. I'm going to move on to my eyes and start testing the mascara. So this is what the packaging looks like. And uh, this is the mascara. Um, it says here that it has six months shelf life. It is made in France and it is 7.5 milligrams or 0.2 fluid ounces. It is black and it says that it has new formula and brush okay let's try that okay okay this is what the brush looks like mm, smells very very pleasant so um let's just apply right So this is the mascara. I have to say that I am very impressed so far. I like this new brush. And uh, normally I'm quite messy with my mascara and I mess things on my lower lash. So this is what it looks like. I like it. I like it so far. Um, as a blush today, I was using this one from Bobbi Brown. This is the Desert Pink. Mm -hmm. um, and as a highlighter today, I would like to use this one from Chanel. This is Le Beige Collection Pearly Glow. Um, this is the lightest color they have. I absolutely love, love this highlighter. Okay, last but not least today, I'm going to be using a brand new for myself uh, lipstick. It is Rouge Pour Couture and uh, number 22 in pink. And this is the lipstick. Check this out. Isn't this gorgeous? Pretty baby pink shade. I hope it will suit me. Okay.
So this is what it looks like. Let's just begin with this Couchon foundation. I loved how it was working on my skin. It gave me from medium to full coverage instantaneously. I only needed to press twice my applicator into the refill in order to create this. It is very luminous. Uh, I thought so and also I forgot to mention that I did use my Embryolays. Where is it? My Embryolays as my foundation. This is the the one that I normally use all of the time. So I have this luminous skin appearance. Okay over here I have my highlighter from Chanel but you can see here that it kind of like perfect gives me that perfect glow it did not collapse in my wrinkles it does not emphasize my pores i do have large pores that is something um, that um, makeup is not to blame and i don't believe there's any makeup out there that will make you look all airbrushed unless you're using a special filters to kind of mask that uh, but i don't have them filters and i'm not using them anyway so so i loved loved using this uh cushion foundation will recommend it yes um, so when it comes to mascara i absolutely loved it too um it gave me a perfect effect of a fake eyelashes something happened and my lashes decided to go on holiday and never come back and um, I'm left with not much to go. And I think that this mascara does a fabulous job masquerading the fact that I am technically left with no lashes. I don't know, can you see it? I'm just gonna do this. Can you see this? I don't know. Anyway, so mascara is a hit with recommended. This is my brand new uh, favorite mascara that I absolutely am loving and would recommend it when it comes to this lipstick um i like the feel of this lipstick i like how easy and buttery it was just perfect i'm not sure the shade is exactly uh, my cup of tea but you know i wanted to try it pink lipsticks are very popular and sometimes they look good on me sometimes they don't and this one i'm not sure so yeah that's what it is. But overall, uh, despite the color uh, disbalance, I feel like it is a very, very good lipstick and I would strongly recommend these particular ones. And also they feel very, very heavy and luxurious. Loved it. So yes, on this fantastic note, I would like to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and I'll see you in my next one. But for now, it's bye-bye.